Hello YouTube Battle Buddies, my name is Kaza Marie and some of you know me as a Lark Girl and today I'm going to show you how to wreck your face. And by wreck your face I mean show you how to apply makeup to make it look like you've wrecked your face. I've got a gash on my cheek, wonder where I got that, a little bit of a bruise on my head, and I have two different kinds of scars that you can apply to yourself. A fresh one and one that's kind of been there for a while. Powder, eyeliner, blah, 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 and I'm going to put my hair back so we don't get any liquid latex or rigid collodion in my hair. The things that we're going to be using today is going to be Ben Nye's FX Color Wheel. This is CK1. We're also going to be using some rigid collodion from MaxWorld.com, flesh latex, and some other stuff to blend with. You're also going to need some tissue paper, some sort of baby powder, and a brush to blend with. Any brush that you're not using will do. First I'm going to show you how to make a open wound on your face. Here, let that dry a little bit. You're going to take a small piece of tissue paper Now we need some of my favorite foundation to blend a bit. And you're going to want to invest in some other kind of makeup for this because as you can see the white piece of paper doesn't really match my skin and it kind of makes it look a little more fake and that it doesn't actually blend as well. We're going to get to blending in a little bit but we just want to make sure that we've got enough latex on there. Alright, and we just want to get something to snip the side a little bit. We're using the red inside of the Ben Nye bruise kit. Just want to make it look good. And here you can apply uh, fake blood and make it look a lot better. I think that the fake blood actually ends up dripping a little bit and it's nice. Bruise the skin a bit more. And now I'm going to use some just general red face paint. It doesn't look as good as it could, but I'm pretty satisfied with it. Now I'm going to show you guys how to bruise. I'm 
um, but follow some sort of pattern, but make sure it's not as perfect. So we have the green right here, we have the deep purple up here, dark purple up here, and I'm going to add a little bit of red. blend. The more blending that you do on a bruise, the better it's just going to look with your skin. It's kind of taken over my entire face. I'm going to add just a little bit of something just so that it, it sets a bit better and it doesn't look as fresh. I'm going to blend it with my skin tone. Just to kind of give it another layer, we're going to go back to the dark blue where we came from. If you do it a little bit of a time, you can see the impact that it's having on your skin. So I've used the green, I've used the dark blue, and I used this magenta color to kind of give myself a little bit of a vein. Now I'm going to show you two different kinds of scars. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a base to go from. thicker the tissue and the more that it stretches, the more that the scar is going to look better. We're going to use the red in the bruising just very lightly. It's already kind of looking like a scar. The closer that the scar is to your mouth, it's going to hurt a little bit more and tear. Also try and keep it as far away from your eyes as possible because rigid collodion smells really bad and it'll burn your eyes. And just a close up of one layer. The more that you add, the more of an indent there will be on your skin. And I like stretching it around so that it breaks up a little bit. And you can go ahead and add a little bit more color to make it just slightly brighter. a little bit more like a new scar. The brighter it is, the more of a new scar that it looks like. And then I'm just going to go over top of it one more time. Not that anybody cares with it's rock candy from the sugar pop. And we have ourselves a scar. Really quick, I'm going to show you a scar without any details on it. Usually this is my go-to because I get really lazy at LARP and I just throw on rich collodion. The best thing about this is that it peels off really easily. It'll, closer it is to your eye skin, it won't peel off as easily. Oh, and keep it away from your eyebrows. Should be peeling your eyebrows out. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect. Wounds never look perfect. I generally add about three layers of rigid collodion to my skin. Again, the more you use, the better the results. And if you mess with it a little bit, it will turn out to better. You can see that this one's very shiny. I haven't added anything to it, so it's just kind of 
not very scar like. I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder to it just to get rid of that shine. Anytime you use a powder that is accenting your skin, uh, make sure that it matches your skin tone as much as possible. That way it still looks like your skin and it doesn't look fake. And so these are the different kinds of makeup things that you can do to make your character look beaten, bruised, messed up. If you've had an in-between game action that has left you injured, and you have to go into town, maybe you spruce yourself up a little bit. Or if you practice medicine or healing in game, this might be a great way for you to kind of spend a little bit of time of making somebody look like you've patched them up the wrong way. I hope you've all liked this makeup YouTube tutorial. If you're going to a LARP event and want to look kind of cool or decrepit or just look like you've gotten into a pretty mean fight and made it out on the other end, then this might help you out. I hope you guys like this. Leave your comments below. Leave how you do LARP makeup below. Let me know the kind of videos that you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the battlefield. I would definitely show up on a date like this.